Welcome back, everybody. So, Nora, you became a mother at a young age. I sure did. At 21 years old or 20 years old? 20. Okay. Now, how did you navigate that? Because that's, that's a very critical age. So, yes, it was, it was hard, but I feel like more so, what do you mean navigate? Like just navigate everything? Yeah, so like how did you kind of deal with, oh my God, I'm pregnant now. Um, well, I'm just like, I feel like a natural problem solver. So I was just like, I'm going to do this. We're going to figure it out. I was just scared to tell Jay. Yeah. I knew he was not going to have the same reaction, but um, I went straight into planning mode. Yeah. Like, all right, uh, I'm pregnant. Who, who can we tell? Like, yeah. who can yeah. we tell that's going to support us? Which was my mom. Yeah. And then um, after that, I was like, all right, my priority is going to be making money and then finishing college. So I just immediately went into planning mode where I was like, all right, we need to save this amount of money, we need to do this, we need to do that, and I need Jay's mental health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're working him along. Yeah. Yeah. So you um, kind of had, a, when when you found out that you were pregnant. This was weeks after I found out. This yeah. is not, I shouldn't say immediately. Of course I was shocked, I was yeah. scared. Yeah. Yeah. Well, totally. grown ass people are shocked and scared, so that's yeah. normal, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I was, like we're gonna be fine there's worse things that can happen like which is a very good which i would say this is very mature at 20 to have that outlook where it's okay this is what we need to do to raise cam yeah um in a loving environment right and i try to always like take the positives out of situations um but i also at the time thought i was like like money maker because I was waitressing at Friendly's making good money. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I, I can take care of both of us. Like, right. I had so yeah. much money, which obviously I did not. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the hardest part was honestly like telling people, like even friends. Was there disappointment or shock when you told friends? Because um, again, like 20 years old. Well, That's yeah, kind of when you're going I, out to parties was, and stuff. I'm still like pretending to party, just drinking okay. like you know, pretend drinks yeah. for months. So people really had no idea. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so yeah, people were shocked, of course. Yeah. Like we were in college. And right, yeah. They were in college too and partying at yeah. his house and just trying, Jay and I were, so we've known each other since middle school, but we didn't start dating until after high school. So we were only together for, I don't know, a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So we weren't living together. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And, and you had mentioned your mom to telling your mom right away. And and, that, and I know with talking with Jay, uh, it took him a little bit, took him some courage to tell his parents. How did your mom take it? So my mom actually took it pretty well. She kind of had the same reaction I did was like, it's going to be hard, but you know, there's worse things that could happen. And you know, you and Jay have a great relationship and you'll figure it out. So she, awesome. she was very supportive and said that she was going to support us any way she could. Um, and once Jay's parents came around, they were the same way. Yeah. My dad, on the other hand, was not supportive, but uh, that's a whole nother story. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of like, the, you know, like, I feel like the moms tend to be maybe more understanding and supportive than that spot. The dad's... Well, my dad, it's, it's a culture thing. So that he's, too, right? Yeah, that force. So but. he didn't even know Jay was... He didn't know he existed. Yeah. <laughs> so that yeah. that took some years to yeah. to uh, get around, but yeah. all good now. Yeah. So you said you went into like planning mode. Yep. Pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Was that always your personality even before that whole thing? Like, were you always kind of a planner or always kind of have that mentality? So I'm not a planner when it comes to like this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Laura. <laughs> But I like to think of myself as a problem solver, yes. Yeah. So I'm like, I there's a problem here and we're gonna figure it out. Yeah. You know? Um and again, like I I'm a hard worker, so I'm like, we're gonna work hard, we're gonna make this happen. Yeah. 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 And now with Cameron, she's in high school, Benji, elementary school, Jakey eats rocks. Yeah, this, that's is how from, this, is, this is from your, your bio. Dude, he eats so many rocks. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't swallow. No, maybe just, I have ooh, that, a ninja. Well, he's, you know what? Probably I'm should uh, maybe edit so, that part out. Really? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, I, let me ask you this. 
was it because again Cameron and Benji are fairly close in age was it three four years three years yep was it difficult to kind of get back into baby mode or, or I, I would say what made you guys want to have another child so I was really feeling like I wanted one more for a few years just because Jay and I I would gave you Charlie yeah <laughs> <laughs> I would have taken it out <laughs> just kidding Val I love Charlie Charlie I love you too Oh, I know. And like, it was, but so many years went by that you like forgot what it was like, yeah. honestly. And now we're remembering real quick now. Yeah. But um, I just wanted to experience it like at the age that we're at and with like a home, real jobs. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to experience it all over again and awesome. not be so stressed out about all those other things. Yeah. Which, you know, is a totally different experience mm -hmm. because with them, Obviously, we had more energy because we were younger and mm -hmm. all of that, but we were really trying to figure out where we were going to live, where we were going to work, and money, and mm -hmm. degrees, and all of that, and weddings. So, this is, like, we get to really just enjoy him. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it is. It just took years to convince Jay, but... <laughs> I, I can see that, and it's funny because if you asked me, so my youngest is five now, if you asked me three years ago if I wanted another one, I'd be like, no, I'm good. Yeah. But ask me now... I'm like, I damn, I kind of missed the baby phase a little I bit. Know. I do. I'm, it ain't gonna happen. Yeah. Um, that that train got snipped a little while yeah, ago. Same but, here. Yeah. Um, just experience my life. Yeah. Well, you didn't pass out on the way home, so. Oh, true. Um, Sorry. So. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, but like, I, I missed that phase. Like, I was thinking about the other day driving home. I forget. I I must have had a conversation with somebody or something, and I was thinking about that. Like, damn, I kind of missed the baby phase. Yeah. But, and like, it also was like, when we're 40 years old, we're gonna have an empty house and Jay's like that sounds great I'm like yeah. no we're still gonna be working right and we're not gonna be retired it's yeah. just gonna be too quiet we need yeah. one more but right. that's it we're done yeah three is good well he seems um, like a, a riot though he is hilarious he's adorable and it's really cool to see like thank you really cool to see his relationship with the older kids yeah it's like everything you could have asked for like mm -hmm. he s loves them mm -hmm. really awesome. love him so it's really cool that is but cool. One thing we didn't like think about was, so we're like, oh, it's gonna be so fun, the big age gap, which it is, but the different styles of parenting we have to do all day. Because we have oh, a high yeah. schooler, yeah. a fifth grader, and a oh. one year old. And you have to be three different types of parents. Like for instance. So okay, today, I was gonna explain that, that's interesting. Okay, yeah. so just today on our way home from our daughter's high school game, just me, Cam, and the baby. She's all upset because she played bad apparently. And she's stressed about her test tomorrow, so she's freaking out in the front seat. And then I'm holding the baby's car seat, rocking him to keep him awake because I'm like, it's 5 30, you can't fall asleep, you can't fall asleep. And I'm going like, B I N G O, I'm like, sick. And I'm like, it's gonna be okay, you're gonna pass your test, it's gonna be fine, you played great. It's like right. a constant, you're in yeah. so many different directions. Yeah. Um, I, that's the hardest part. And then like, that's we have Benji who's like, thinks he's older but he's not mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. he's like oh look you know mature so beyond his years yes. yeah so the three of us just look at each other and not the three of us jay and i look at each other after we deal with the three of them and we're like oh my god mm -hmm. that is wild it because is it hard is, they're at different stages in their life high school is very complicated because you're trying to figure out i mean the littlest things can be like earth shattering. oh yeah you're trying and, to discover yourself oh yeah and, yeah. and then they're also yeah. like with many adults so you have to talk yeah. to them like mm -hmm. many adults exactly and, and they learn real. a lot about themselves too yeah and you also want to give them their space yes so yeah yeah it's, that's harder than the fifth grader who thinks he can ride his bike at eight o'clock at night mm -hmm. and then the <laughs> and also rocks. Rocks. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. literally I, like all at once i'm like oh my god so i just like that's another thing. I always, this is my motto. I'm like, take a deep breath. And the other yeah. day, Cam looks at me and she goes, why do you always say that? That doesn't even work. Take a deep breath makes no sense. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and you take a deep breath. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you try it? Yeah. Yeah. That's one, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I just gotta laugh it off. Yeah, right. But yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Better, there's more good than. Well, of course, chaos, right. Yeah, that's just parenthood. Not, not something I thought of with yeah. the age gap. Now, when you became a new parent, was there anything like a quality? that your mother maybe instilled with you that you said i want to make sure that cameron and my kids are you know brought up this way to where they have a lot of love or certain quality yeah so my mom's pretty i grew up in a really stressful like household childhood and she always made the most simple things fun so like 
I don't know, something simple like, like we have movie nights pretty much three times a week. That's amazing. Um, our kids still to this day, if Cam's friends listen to this, they would die, but they still lay in our bed every night with us before like they go to sleep for that's cool. like a half an hour that or is cool. whatever. Yeah. yeah, and then they, everyone yeah. goes off into their own room. Yeah. So like, that's where we all like talk about the day or yeah. But they're uh, gonna do it. that shit with their kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and so that's, that's that's really cool. I hope so. You know and, like, I mean? That like, was something we I did with my mom. Like yeah. we did with her all the time. And where I know some families are against it, but like we like Jake still he starts in his crib, but yeah. he ends up in our bed in the middle mm -hmm. of the night. And I did that with all three kids and I mm -hmm. that. That's cool too because you're creating like a safe environment. Yeah. You're, you're already telling us right. now that Cameron feels comfortable enough to talk to you. Oh yeah. A lot of high school kids, I myself, I don't know about you, John, but I really didn't talk to my parents much about any of my high school struggles. And, you know, my dad didn't have a father, really. So I don't think he necessarily knew, like, hey, I should ask Brian some questions to get him to open right. up. He only did Maybe. What he knew. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so I now see that it's important to communicate either when daddy's sad, when daddy's happy. So they see the emotions, but yeah. also make sure that they understand, hey, you can be sad. Yeah. Talk to me, let me know. Val does a very good job with it, too so that they can have that same kind of atmosphere at home where it's like they come home and it's whatever they were going through at school or in life they know that this is comfort right. this right. is safe and it's also know. very important for like your reactions for things yeah like you sometimes want to just like oh my god die inside but yeah. you have to just yeah, <laughs> oh, just yeah. Breath. yeah. Well, that's, see that's the thing too so you're you're obviously a young mom still i, I would think in tune with a lot of what's happening in yep. in cam's life do you have times where you can like think back like man doesn't feel like it was too long ago for me i was going through those things oh 100 and that help yeah. that helps yeah hurts like i mean because obviously the, it's a double helps. story and it doesn't, i don't think it matters how much like a but like cam and i are only 20 years apart right yeah so it seems really but i don't think that matters i think at any age you have to try to think of yourself in their shoes like we were mm -hmm. once kids yeah. yeah and like when she Today was freaking out about the test with her game. I just wanted to be like, stop it, how do you feel? But yeah. it is to her. Right. You know, so right. you just, yeah. and at one point she was arguing with everything they said. So I just, and she's a, she's really not, she's, we're very lucky. No, she's, she's great. Yeah. She's great. So when she, she has her smart. moments, I just let her. You gotta let them, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yep. You just let her walk away and then I gave her her space at home and she came back downstairs and asked me to help her study and that was it. So yeah. That's it also depends on the kid. Like, yeah. I am a firm believer that you, I mean, some people would disagree, but you have to parent each kid differently. Like agreed, one hundred percent agreed. Without a yes. doubt, without a doubt. And they maybe not so much where they know it, like yeah. know that. Right, yeah. But be a little sneaky. Yeah, on yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like oh, like Cam. I don't know when I'll ever let Benji get a phone because I just yeah. his mental health. I don't think would be good for no, it. Right. But, you, but then you, Cam is a little bit more mature in that way, yeah. so. But you recognize you that. Be, yeah, so you just have yeah. to be careful in how you parent each kid. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, nor, an organic tanning. Yes. Let's talk about it. How did that business idea start? I know you were going to Bay Path College. You were working two jobs. Did, was it you got your degree and then you came up with the idea? Can you kind of take us on that journey? Yes, I'll try and make it short oh, and you can, sweet. Hey, we got time. All right, all right. Even though it's a little late for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm energized now that yeah, I'm here. Right, I'm right, here. I was like, oh, this is so late. <laughs> um, so, I... So when I had Cam, I took a semester off, and then to have her, to mm -hmm. give birth. <laughs> Makes sense. Just a semester. Just, yeah. just take a semester yeah. off. Yeah. Then I went back to school, and I had to go to Bay Path because they offer a one-day program. Okay. So you could go to school all day on Saturday mm -hmm. and get your degree like accelerated. So the classes are six weeks long rather than, I don't know how long a semester is. Whatever. Three months. Whatever, whatever, whatever yeah. 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 So it took me about a year and a half to finish the, my bachelor's degree in psychology. Um, then Jay and I got married and had Benji. So I, I was not looking to look into like a new career or anything. I was mm -hmm. bartending and waitressing and it worked out great with our schedule. We worked the opposite shifts. Jay and I honestly didn't see each other because it was yeah. complete opposite shifts. Mm -hmm. And then I would be at school all day Saturday. Never saw each other, but um, it worked. Uh, so after I finished we got married and I had um, Benji. Um, he was about one. This is, I was trying to think about this today when I started like spray tanning and it was, which is so weird to put in perspective. Cam was starting kindergarten when I started and now she just started. Holy cow. Wow. It's crazy. 
That's wild. So you've been in business for... Well, that's when I, like, started oh, spray yeah. tanning. Okay. I didn't, like, become legit until yeah. Benji was in preschool. And, and what made you kind of zone in on... Spray tanning. Yeah. Okay, so I had never had spray tan before, ever, in my life. Never, like, used self-tanner, nothing. Didn't, it wasn't really that popular then, either. Uh, yeah. But my sister, who is much more fair than I am, was getting them, and they were really awful. Like... Mm -hmm. orange streaky and I, she was paying a lot of money I'm like that's crazy like why are you why are you doing that so yeah. I just one night was like I want to learn a new skill I don't want to get a master's so I don't want to know what I want to get it in get uh, excuse me what I want to go into I just want to learn a new skills so I just started looking up how to start spray tanning mm -hmm. and then from there did research for a few months took a class which then classes weren't really like they weren't teaching you anything. You mm -hmm. just pay, take the class, get certified. Yeah, you're paying for the piece of paper. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I came home and I'm like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. I don't know how to spray tan. <laughs> um, but uh, to make a long story short, I would just tan like my sisters and then their friends, and Jay, Jay, all the time, <laughs> myself. Yeah. Um, and then I went from there for a few months and then I started to get pretty good. So I was doing friends of friends. And this all started, I did it in my mudroom. Okay. So we just put like a, a black curtain to separate the mudroom and the kitchen, mm -hmm. and then Jay and the kids would be hiding in the basement, That's and funny. I would have naked women like in my mudroom, <laughs> and you could hear Jay downstairs being like, "Stop it, <laughs> get over here!" <laughs> uh, and sometimes I would even have to like during the day if someone wanted a daytime tan, I didn't want to decline it, right? But didn't have childcare, so I would put Benji down for a nap. Pray to God he didn't wake up. Right, right. And sometimes we'd be napping on the couch, literally in the other room, and I'd be yeah. spray tanning someone in the other room. How long does it take? Uh, really, fifteen minutes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um. So you try to like get as many. the whole. So right now we book every twenty minutes, and the whole process takes about ten to fifteen. Okay. okay. Um. So then from the mudroom days, we moved on to mobile, and I was going to people's homes, mm -hmm. which is a real hustle because say you have. I don't know, four clients that could be one in Summers, Enfield, West Hartford. So yeah, we're yeah. really traveling all over just for four clients. Yeah. Yeah. So I did that for like a year until it got old and then rented a room in a salon. And what was set up like for the mobile? Like, did you have your own setup? Oh so my God. Like, I it wish I had a video like a of me. So you have this like pop up tent. Okay. And then you have to like put a towel down and you have to make sure it's like somewhere with good lighting somewhere that spray tan can't so get everywhere. Oh yeah, mobile. and you're packing like all your colors and your spray gun and your machine. Oh, wow. And then in front of all these people, sometimes you tan, tan like bridal parties, you have to put the tent back together, like put it in your car. And it was like one of those ones, like, I don't know, like your kid's tent, you're like trying to- Oh yeah, like fold it all up and shit and pull. Like hitting me in the face. <laughs> spray, like the excess spray tan which is getting all over me. I'm like, this is, I'm so professional. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a nightmare. Um, and then also I could only tan friends of friends cause you didn't want to knock on like a random person's right, door. Right. Like that said their name was Allison and like a big burly man answer. So right, yeah. it also like, I couldn't just, I couldn't do it forever. I wanted to expand. Right. So then I rented a room in um, a salon in Enfield for a few months. Didn't really work out. And then I went into the salon I'm in now in Broadbrook and it was like so outdated. I just threw up some temporary walls and mm -hmm. started there. Then from there, got my second location. And then Sinsbury. Sinsbury, yep. Shout out. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I hired my first employee in 2017. That is amazing. That yes. is amazing. And then all my employees I've ever had are still with me. That's amazing. Yeah, that speaks a lot about you. Too. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. So yeah. I, I, um, yeah, I'm really grateful for them. They, I, that was the hardest part about the business is hiring someone. Yeah. Yeah. When did you know that you needed to hire someone? I needed to be at home at night for the kids. Okay. So I was working like all day, all night, every day. Yeah. S Sunday, not Sunday, so Saturday. You're grinding. Yes, every single day and night. So I, they started, like this is, when I started the second location, Benji at that point was in kindergarten. Okay. So I have the two locations, I'm going back and forth to both locations. Wow. And they had stuff at night, like soccer. Right, exactly. They're yeah. at school all day, so if I didn't, if I wasn't home, I wasn't gonna see him. Right, you gotta be a parent, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's interesting. So when you're doing this whole process and, and you're going through the whole entrepreneurial experience, what were some of the things that you were like, were you ever afraid of something or kind of afraid of the maybe 
a location not working or course, whatever yeah. maybe right so how'd, how'd you kind of navigate that stuff so when i first started the business you i thought that winter was going to be the busiest season mm -hmm. because i'm like oh you know like you don't you can't get the tan. Really right yeah. yeah yeah well no in the winter people are covered up around here they don't very really true. care very they're true. Tan. Yeah. and a lot of people don't we don't really celebrate like new year's eve around here it's just not Right. in the winter right now i'm busy in the winter because of weddings vacations mm -hmm. but when i first started no so when i first started in organic i was waitressing bartending and doing organic together mm -hmm. and then once i got through like the fall i was like well it's gonna be so busy in the winter i quit my bartending and waitressing job so ballsy move <laughs> <laughs> yep and i pretty much failed it yeah. was bad I had to I ended up having to babysit someone's baby twice a week to make up for that money yeah because so yes to answer your question yeah. I was scared of failure and also paying like my overhead right yeah and then at, now at this point like I'm doing great I'm very grateful but I'm still like I have employees that depend on this money mm -hmm. you know? it's not just me now yes so, like, that's I have volume. families yeah and so like if uh, like some like COVID when yeah. we were closed for three months, I'm like, oh my god, it's not just me losing out on money; it's all these right. employees. So yeah. that's the hardest part. And when you, I mean, I respect the hell out of your grind. Oh, I yeah. respect the hell out of how long you've been doing it. Thank you. Was there? Did you see the vision? Like, did you see? It? I know that I can be successful yes. at this. Yes. And so that always kept you going. Yes. See. Mm -hmm. We have that same thing. Yeah. It's like we see it, and we just, and that's why like, have every to, single day, every, yeah. no one's gonna believe you. Yeah, damn right. No one's yeah. gonna have your vision. No one's gonna have that fire yeah. that you have. Yeah, no and you, you're the one putting the work in. Yeah, Nobody else. Right. Yeah, you, you have to, and it, it's hard. Yeah. Like, there's, like, I, just on Saturday, I was at Benji's. We were closed at this point, and I was at Benji's tournament and having a great time. And I have a bride that came in the night before, and she messed up her hands, and she's freaking out, blowing up our phone blowing up the email I had to leave the tournament and on the way there you just want to think of the worst right right like, oh, she's getting married tomorrow how the hell am I gonna fix this yeah but instead I just changed my mindset and yeah. I'm like I am gonna fix this yeah and it's gonna be fine it's just spray tan yeah so that has changed everything for me in business I used to freak out about everything and spray tans are temporary they get messed up pretty easily yeah so like you could do a beautiful job and then someone leaves and it's raining you know, and you bring them to the car, and you put them. I bring them out with an umbrella. It's that. I see. I realize it's that. Like inch, until like, they really? shower, yes. So they can mess it up very easily. It uh, happens. Yeah. Um. So I used to freak out. Like, yeah. how am I going to fix this? And then I'm, you know, even I tell my employees, it's we're not doing open heart surgery. It's so right. Just yeah. a spray tan. Yeah. So I scrub the shit out of that bride's <laughs> hands, <laughs> and then resprayed them and went back to that soccer tournament. Nice. Uh, yeah. It, oh shit! Right there. Yes. Yeah. Right. Oh my god! Yeah. I've like never manhandled a stranger like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But um, yeah, so I could have easily freaked out, um, like I used to. Yeah. But yeah. you just have to remember it's. It's business. not life or death. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not life or like death, and there's yeah. hiccups. Yeah. How was the process of learning like business? Yeah, because like uh, I hired, hired a great accountant. Okay, so shout out to Greg DeLeo. We've heard that's a bit like the you most important to. thing to do, like once you start like getting business. You have to business. once you start making an income yeah. because um, sometimes, like for me, one not a lot of things stress me out, but taxes do. Mm -hmm. So if you could delegate something that really stresses you out, I recommend it. Yeah, that's a good and then point. you could you can focus other like yeah. strengths somewhere else. So for me, I would try to do them, and I'm like, why am I doing this? Right. So it's worth every penny, because then I can delegate my time and effort somewhere else. Right. Yeah. And that's I cool. get sleep. I don't lose sleep over tax season. Yeah, that's huge. Right. It takes yeah. care of itself almost, right? Yeah. So that that is the other business side things like hiring. I've never not going to had to fire anybody, but hiring for me, what works for me is I never put out an ad or like a thing on Instagram saying now hiring. Mm -hmm. I would wait until I like was tanning a client for say I knew them well. I'm like, mm -hmm. so are you looking for a part time job? And that's how I hired all of them. Smart. So that's I can pick them because you trust them too. A relationship. Yes. Yeah. And you have to be personable you know, to care. Yeah. Yeah. naked people. You yeah. can't just <laughs> walk in. And yeah. then you also I also hired three of my employees are teachers, which are great because. They have summer job. And they have patience. And <laughs> yeah, they're right. so organized yeah. and responsible. And yeah. That is very true. That is very true. 
That is very smart. True. Probably yeah. not probably not something that people think about in the in the hiring process like yeah. that. That's yeah. a really interesting way of going about it. Because anyone for me, I I feel like I like like everyone first time meeting them, so I'm like, I would be so cool if I ever went in an interview. I know. You know? Like, yeah. oh, you're great. Yeah. 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 Um, and they're a total shithead. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's hard to train somebody, so it takes a lot of effort to put with any business. Yeah. You're putting your time and effort into this person right. and you want it to work. Yeah. yeah. You're and investing also in it's your actually. baby. Like this is your baby. You want it to mm -hmm. be represented well. I was gonna say that too, especially when you are hiring people that you trust that you know will care about not only your company and your business, but for what you stand for. You know, for sure, and yeah. it's, it does speak volumes that you have the same people that you originally hired. Yeah. And that they're just very good people. They are, I'm so grateful for them. An organic wouldn't be an organic without them. I'd be so screwed. So you do come across uh, as a person who has an immense comfort and understanding on who you are, okay? Why, why do you say that? that? <laughs> Tell that? me, Brian, why do you think that? Well, because you know they, you seem very, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna take life too seriously, yes, right? Yes, you're right, I'm just putting you on the spot. No, this is <laughs> you know, it's part of our, it's my podcast too, so it's putting you on the hot seat. Um, yeah, I, um, you know, I don't, I just try to have fun and make other people feel good about themselves. Yeah. I feel like that uh, that's a big part of my job too. Like people come in so insecure and so like I can't like sometimes I love my job because I'm connecting with all these people, but sometimes I do have to say it's like mentally exhausting. Mm -hmm. Because I I'm like and it's 20 minute appointments, so sometimes I'm yeah. like 30 clients a day yeah. and it's constant like reassuring them and which i love it yeah but um it's like you're on almost on, like for all, all day the entire day all day yes yeah. and yeah. then like you can't just be silent when you're talking when you're tanning them because they're uncomfortable right so and i do love it that's been yeah. part of the job is connecting with people but mm -hmm. um so yeah if you're talking about like my social media like yeah. posting embarrassing things of myself no it's amazing yeah but, that, but i feel I like think, that's comfort yes like you I, don't you're not afraid what others think. Exactly. i do not which is huge it yes. is it is. That's. I mean, especially when it comes to like you said, social media. Like some of the shit you put up, is fucking hilarious. You know what I mean? Like, you're I right. think it's so funny. It's though. really funny. Okay. I don't know if other people do, yeah, but, but you that's... know what? I just post it to post it. That's what I'm yeah. saying, right? But, but I hope it makes other people feel comfortable with themselves. That's exactly yeah. what I was gonna say. Yeah. And all that does is make you realize that, like, why? Why am I taking myself seriously? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the, if fun. I'm laughing at this. Someone else will be laughing at me doing something like that. Yep. So like it, it, it's a domino effect. So I do commend you for that. Thank you. And you talk about. It I'm too. gonna tell Jay you guys said that. No, yeah. I'm funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what you, Jay. They you, think I'm funny. Well, you put something up the other day. It was like something about about that. Like why why doesn't Jay take pictures of me or oh something like God, that? Yeah. And it was like it was just so, such a funny thing. It was like yeah. that was a true story. I'm like Jay. I'll always like every picture I take of him looks like a supermodel, and I'm like <laughs> like I make I get the angle and like. Yeah, power washing. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, I'm like, oh, your butt looks so good. But um, and then I'm like, so I said that to him that day, and then he took a picture of me and said this to me without saying anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, <laughs> he's like, he told me to take pictures of you. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> but it's all fun. And now, that's hilarious. You, you know, you you mentioned that you have a bachelor's in psychology. Yes. And it's funny how things come. Full circle. I know. Because now with airbrushing, I'm sure you have people talk to you because you do strike me as someone that you do genuinely care about people. Thank you. Is there kind of like a story to where that maybe you really resonate? Like, wow, I do have an impact on people because of this? Um, are you asking like impact on people because of myself? Yeah, like did they say, did, was there something, maybe a, sto a struggle or story that someone shared with you oh, and just kind of coming, you know, talking it this through daily. So like just this last week, I tanned this one client um, weekly. She's in her sixties and she shared some news with me this summer and literally came to me crying every week and telling me her story and I'm trying to reassure her everything's going to be okay. And then just this past week, um, she had surgery, and then I immediately, so like we're friends now. I was so just going to say that. Yeah, I texted now. her on Monday, and I actually tanned her husband as well, uh -huh. and he texted me back like, hey, oh my God, like thank you so much for checking in. She's doing great. Um, tomorrow night, I'm going out with two clients for drinks. Like mm -hmm. we, I have made so many amazing connections, and 
again, it's why I like my job. Sometimes I'm so tired and don't want to go to work, but then when I go to work, I'm energized because yeah. of the clients. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's huge. And you put out that positive atmosphere too. Thank you. And I then try. they kind of like give you that energy. Sometimes too. it's hard. Oh, Sometimes sure. I'm like, oh, yeah. but then. Especially if Jakey's not sleeping. Yeah, Jakey has not slept through the night yet. Oh. He's 14 months old. Um, well, you know, it doesn't get any better either. I mean, I don't know how your kids <laughs> slept, but I mean, mine's seven or five and, and they're up every night storming in the fucking bedroom. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. It's so cute though. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, I have made amazing connections. There's something about like this. And my employees have too. I'm sorry. No, you're good. What? No, no, no. That's like huge. I've heard like my employees like have, I don't even know some of these clients. Like they're their clients, which yes. is like for an owner is amazing. Yeah, like, absolutely. I also don't tell people I'm the owner. So they'll come in and be like, well, I normally have so-and-so. Yeah. Like, are you going to be all right? And I'm like, I hope so. <laughs> 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 I hope I can do okay. Yeah, right. Um, but that's a huge compliment. That's cool too that you support your staff. Oh, 100%. You know, it's, it's yeah, like that's huge. It is. And we, we, if you treat them well, they're going to treat you well. And they're right. going to stay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, and of course, I know one day they're going to have to leave. Right. Like, that's just, I would be stupid if I didn't think that. But I always joke with them. I'm like, when you leave, can you just give me like a year in advance? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 365 days of yeah. 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 But my first too. employee, in 2017, she moved to Boston, so she left. And then when I got pregnant, she magically moved back. And it was like, yeah, I'm down to help you. And she's still back, That's which awesome. is amazing. It is awesome. Yeah. It's like a little wow. tanning it's a angel family. coming back. Yeah, so yeah. that was, I was really stressed tanning about. Angel. Tanning angel back yes. in your life. Yeah. Tanning angel. <laughs> <laughs> so we always ask our, our guests for like just basic bios before we before you guys come on so we can have a little bit more context what we're talking about. I know you guys, I was like mom business owner no but uh, right but, but but you did have something interesting that we put in here and you had self proclamations multitasker therapist and cheerleader yes I wanted to ask about this I thought it was interesting you wouldn't put that down for no reason so I and my friends would agree I am constantly like the cheerleader even with my siblings mm. I'm always the one that's it's gonna be fine, or they're calling me for advice. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I'm, I pride myself in it. And yeah. Jay, like yeah. he pretty much calls me every day with something, and I try to give the best advice. I don't always, <laughs> but um, I enjoy it. I try to be like the positive yeah. in everything. Yeah, and, and I'm therapist, I'm, I'm, I'm just in a therapist. I don't oh, mind. that's definitely at work. That's at work. That's I, guess I, I was curious on that, right? It could be, right? So yeah, like everyone's I, problems between like both clients and employees, like you No, just... my employee, honestly, like with my employees, we don't really see each other because we're yeah. working opposite shifts. Okay. But I mean, like you guys, you can talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, with um, clients, yeah. yeah, for sure. Like they're, so it's like speed dating with an organic because your, your client's coming in and then you have to make them feel comfortable real quick and mm -hmm. then they have to get naked and then they <laughs> speed dating. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then they <laughs> talk to you and they're so concerned about like being like vulnerable, which yeah. we don't notice or care. We're focusing on our line. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so I do think people share things yeah. um, more, right. which I was actually listening to a podcast. Actually, I think it was Mel Robbins where she was interviewing a guy who does training for barbers to yeah. do like yeah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. and as I was listening to it, I'm like, that is genius Mine because people are vulnerable when they're in like that chair or like, in that's that what I was room. gonna say earlier. There's something about this like I don't call it the service industry, but something like that where people just like spill their guts when they're sitting in a barber yeah. chair, they're sitting in a tattoo. And you see parlor. those people often. Right. If you go to the same place. Exactly. So that the reoccurring customers, you get the relationship, you figure yes. out their problems, their and issues. And we really talk care. We really do. Right. Like, when a client tells me something I like I'm constantly thinking about it, and I'm like, well, I don't want to, like, I can get their phone number through my file, yeah. but they right. don't want me to, you know? So I would have to, like, remember the next, like, time they come in, but... That's huge. Yeah, yeah. I actually remember. write notes on people. I was just yeah. going to say that. That is so smart, because people remember that. Like, mm -hmm. oh, my God, you care. They're going to keep coming And we do so. care, but we yeah. have hundreds of clients. Yeah. So we'll be like, just got married, or just had a baby, just yeah. got a new job. Mm -hmm. We all write that in there, yeah. Yeah, we're going to write that down. Yeah. we got to do that, because you have to make that connection. You're yeah. going to remember it. Just yeah. like remembering people's names. Yeah. You know? Very important. That's huge. What about multitasker? Oh my God. Um, I mean, it's just juggling so life essentially. Like that story I was saying today yeah. with Cam complaining about school, Jake 
crying or, in the, or trying to fall asleep, I had a group chat with my um, employees all texting at the same time with an issue at work. Yeah. And so it's just, I, I always try to focus on what's the most important at that time. Yeah. They're all important. Right. But what needs to be focused on first, yep. second, third. Mm -hmm. You can't do everything at the same time right. as much as yeah. you want to. Yeah. But like, <laughs> if Jake's about to choke at a rock, he's first. Yeah. Yeah, gives you a plan of attack. Yes, and then, so you just go from there. And the work issue, I read it real quick, but I'm like, they can figure this out for a few minutes, so this is going to be last on the list. Yeah. So I try to multitask in that way. Same with, like, home. Like, mm -hmm. lunches, grocery shopping, and then work stuff. Sometimes, actually, every week I have to bring Jake to work with me, mm -hmm. which is a nightmare, but... Yeah. Um, every Monday morning, I go in there, and I do my payroll and my inventory, and... I just give him the broom and but you're like watching him doing this and right you know yeah. just i feel like i'm a good multitasker does just, it feel normal now it does it's like second nature kind i mean of. it's you been like that my whole it. life i feel like that's what i'm saying you've been yeah. doing it for so long now yeah. it's like you don't even notice it anymore yeah i was gonna ask because you're is it hard for you to not feel guilty if you are sitting down no once 8 p.m hits i ask jay once i'm sitting i get i don't get up that's it Done. Yeah, he knows. He doesn't. I'm like, Ben, you'll ask me for something, and I'm like, just keep bringing it in here. Like, yeah, I, right. Once I go, 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 then once I'm down, I'm yeah. down. Yes. I have no problem relaxing. It's funny, it just right? takes a certain time. It's funny because I was talking to Jay about that. It might have been like when we were just talking on the phone one time. And I was like, do you feel guilty when, because I think I was so tired. It was a Saturday. I was so tired. And I was like, no, Brian, you got to go mow the lawn and you got to weed whack. And I like laid down for five minutes. I was like, get up. And I went and did it. And I asked Jim, like, do you feel guilty if you don't go do something? He does. And he's like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I have to tell him. And I'm like, okay, dude. Dishes like, will get done later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, I don't know if it's, it's not like, uh, this is not like sexist at all, but I don't know if it's like just a guilt factor. No, a lot of people you know? have that. They just know. feel lazy if they're not being yeah. productive. It's, I'm trying to be better be about more it. productive if you're lazy sometimes. This is true. Mm -hmm. This is very true. It is. So you and both, you, you and both. Well, we're at, we'll edit this out because uh, apparently <laughs> you I'm- You got shit in your mouth all of a sudden. It's not a fucking four <laughs> Sorry, I got freaking cotton milk. Yeah, no, that's cool. All right, a little, little swig of water. Chapstick, too. Yeah. Get back in this, all right. Lube it up. Sorry. Hey, you are just- Chap lips, cotton yeah. milk. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so you and Jay both have your own businesses. Yeah. You're raising three beautiful kids. Thank you. That have gir curveballs of their own. <laughs> What advice would you give, whether it be parents, business owners, for wearing many hats and trying to balance everything? Um, so Jay and I are a really good team. We're pretty good about, no. this took obviously years of doing this, but we're good about knowing what each other need without saying it. But I do believe to communicate, of course. But like tonight, I today I was non-stop non-stop and then I left the house and it's a disaster I know Jay and I know when I get home the house is gonna be clean because he knows that's gonna make my day mm -hmm. just that much better today or tomorrow whatever yeah. day um, and me for him like I'll pack his lunch because I don't know that'll make his day better tomorrow but communicating is key like for us we just downloaded this year a app a family app where it's the calendar so it would drive each other nuts because we wouldn't tell each other what we had going on insane so now it's just in the calendar we don't have to keep bugging mm -hmm. each other about it that's smart yeah there's a thing i my brother and sister now bought it's a it's like a digital calendar on the wall i don't know if oh, you're yes. talking about skylight or some shit like I that i have heard of that yeah and it's like it's, it's, it's like a family calendar on the wall that you can you know input stuff on you can just see like you look up the day yeah. you look up the so calendar some sort of the appointments something, and something that you don't have so like, to kind of like that yes okay. and then we also have a life 360 which is a tracking for the whole family mm -hmm. okay which sounds silly but jay travels everywhere for work yes, right does. and i'm always like when are you gonna be home where are you today and now i don't have to bug him about that i just look on the app yeah and i'm like okay he's in new york city today or wherever yeah, right. or he's on his way home from soccer yeah. like i don't have to keep bugging him yeah, um, yeah. not that i ever do yeah. but it's just right, but another it's phone mind, call right? yeah. that he's like trying to answer the phone during yeah. work or whatever um, and then communicating like if something is stressing one another out, yeah. which yeah. it's for me, I've been better at communicating, but it used to be like 
give him the cold shoulder for five hours, he'll ask me what's wrong five times, and then <laughs> um, I'll wait until he's just about to fall asleep, and yeah. he'll say, so today, oh. when? Yep. So yeah. I've been better about that. Yeah. Um, it's good to admit that, too. But, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I that Because I, I always hope that it'll just go away. Yeah. That's like me. I'm like, oh. Then you have that's that another thing. inner dialogue where you talk to you, like you have the conversation yes. in your head seven times. And like with marriage, I'm sure you guys know, in relationships, you can't, for me at least, you can't, like, even with the kids, badger every little thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, there's going to be shit that bothers you. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. You have to let things go. Right. Otherwise, you're going to be arguing all day. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes if something's, I just like, oh, I, I'm just going to let it go. Mm-hmm. Let go. You know, that's, that's, I, that really resonates with me because I just found that lately I've been very nitpicky with the boys, whether it be picking up their shoes or, you know, don't do this. The kind of, and it's like, Brian, just let, let it go. go, man. Yeah. Let it go. You know, but, I, but I've really Deep picked up Brian. on that. Yeah, I've picked up on no, that. No, and of course, like, and there's obviously some days that are worse than yeah. others. Like the but little like, rap bastards were kicking each other after school in the car. They're screaming because they have their <laughs> legs on each other. Yeah. And I'm like, guys, just stop kicking each other <laughs> charlie's screaming theo's like get your leg off of my leg and his legs on his leg and i'm like that's when you just turn the music up yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. windows down yeah. and i was like what the fuck i just picked you up two minutes ago <laughs> well, and no, no, trust me i know yeah. i am nitpicking but i'm trying to nitpick like half of the thing right <laughs> you right. know like benji never picks up his clothes off the shower floor yeah. never and then I like was nitpicking, nitpicking. Now I just throw him in his room. I'm like, yeah. right, that's it. That's, yep. I, that's Lost over. battle. Yeah, right? so in yeah. marriage, like. Yeah. Oh yeah. Jay that's like Danny sent you the other day with the with the vacuum. Remember? Oh yeah. So I went. It's notorious. Whenever I use the vacuum, you don't put it away. I and I. Me neither. I leave the cord. It like drives the, Jay nuts. She fucking hates me. <laughs> <laughs> I do that to Jay, and he's like, "What's the point of vacuuming? We're just gonna leave it out." Yeah. Yes. I'm running for something else in a few minutes, probably. Yes. Yes. I, 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 I was about to vacuum the camera. Right, exactly. Yeah, you know what I mean? So I, she fucking hates it. Exactly. And so she sent me a picture one day. She's like, here it is, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did, it's, it's like that in the living room right now. It, mine, I think mine's actually downstairs yeah. in the living room. Yeah, that's yeah room. so there's shit that bothers him too. But yeah. like, he hasn't mentioned that since. He said it once, and that was it. Um, so yeah, just yeah. communicating and not taking everything so seriously. Yeah. You guys do like date nights and shit? Like try oh, yeah. to be good about it? Yeah, so before we had Jake, we were doing it. Like, because we could leave the kids home alone. Yeah. Um, like we would go out once a week, but now we just did an overnight for the first time leaving Jake a couple weeks ago. Um, and then we don't really have time once soccer season yeah. is mm-hmm. over, we'll have time, but we do like at home, mm-hmm. you know? So like, yeah. when the kids go to bed, we like either just talk or watch our show or whatever and yeah. leave that day. But mm-hmm. we do try to go out as much as we can. That's How was the, um, I saw you guys went to, um, Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis. Yeah, that was the concert. Really That's when we went away. It was so good. Yeah, I he's will... really good. Yeah, My wife put me on to him. Like, I can't stop listening to he's him. He's had it like a month and a half. That's like all I listen to now. Yeah. And I've, I've never gone to a concert like at Foxwoods, and I'm like, I feel like I'm old because I love this. We're inside. Good, yeah, it's a good venue. Yeah. Smaller. And you go to the bathroom, no problem. I just took Cam to Morgan Wallen, and it was a nightmare at Fenway. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. there for that. Yeah. yeah. And you had to wait. We stayed dehydrated because it was an hour long bathroom. Oh, that's insane. Was it worth it? She, she, I mean, I like Morgan Wallen, but she loves Morgan Wallen, so yeah. it was 100% worth it to see her. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. That's a cool experience, too. Yeah, sure. it, was, it was fun. Yeah. Well, this was cool. This is cool. I mean, we, first and foremost, we got to commend you on, on uh, having an amazing business. Thank you. Having an amazing family, but also making sure you prioritize the relationship that matters with both your marriage and also with your kids. So, Nora, and your clients. And your clients. Yeah, and your clients. Crushing it. So, thank you, Nora. This has been fun. Thank you.